Hello! Welcome to my Factorio tutorial. I'm Catherine of Sky. This is a continuation of my belt array tutorial video because after I posted it, someone nice in the comments suggested that he would like to have access to all of the belt types and all of the splitter types and not just recycle things totally. So thank you Matthias for that suggestion. And I have redesigned this belt array if you would like to do that. I tend to just go into endgame with only using blue belts, but the other belt types are cheaper and definitely more economical if you need to put them down. So what I've done here is basically each of the in-between parts has the same kind of setup. Uh, what you need is a, a provider and a requester. Now the provider comes from the uh, lower tier item. So basically yellow splitters are going into this chest. The inserter that is attached here is connected to the logistics network, not to the circuit network. And that's kind of important to do it that way because basically what we're doing here is we want to have a bot based delivery system. So in this system, I want to make sure that the inserter only pulls out of the machine if there are less than 50 in this system, 50 uh, yellow splitters. Then this chest is requesting yellow splitters and those go into the red splitter machine. And the same thing happens with, with this one. This is controlling basically how many red splitters we have in the system and therefore available to request at one time. And then this one is requesting to be put into this machine. Uh, and then of course the blue just comes out into its own chest and it doesn't go anywhere else. So it's a provider. So basically the inserter that pulls out, it basically controls the production of the items and how much you have in the chest. So for example, on belts, you might want to have 200 of a type. Uh, I also did this for red and then for blue, I had 1K instead because I use blue the most. And the way this works is um, you do not have this endless loop going between the chests because of the way that robots prioritize taking from storage. So I have storage chests up here, you see they're yellow. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of, well actually I will take the red splitters from here. So basically we're gonna create a need for yellow splitters to come from here. And they will be put into the machine and you see, the robots are grabbing from storage first. They are not grabbing from here. So just for this demonstration, I'm going to artificially increase the number of red belts we want to say 250. I want this machine to just run. So you can see that the robots are taking from storage instead of from this provider chest. And that's basically how you'll recycle things because when you put things into trash slots or the auto trash, it goes into storage and not provider chests. So basically this is how I have the entire array set up like this um, provider coming off the lower tier and a requester of that same thing to go into the other tier. And um, yeah, it, it will recycle belts as well as have ones provided to you. Uh, anyway, so I hope you found this interesting. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Catherine of Sky. See you next time.